Good morning. Check in with your nickname. The boy Jacob, ready to get a good workout in. Hello. Well, come on in, everybody. you're ready for a great Monday morning class. Check in with that nickname and breakfast there, YouTube. We'll begin in three minutes. Uh, kiddos, 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 kiddos. We can start, we can start right here. We can start right here with some swim arms early on a Monday morning here on the West Coast where it's rainy. Yes, indeed. Come on in, Lando in the house, bike rider, had apple juice and an almond croissant. Good morning. All right, Knott's Berry in the house, Orlando's in the house. Windy and rainy this morning in California. So we are going indoors, but we're gonna, we're gonna still get an epic workout in. My mom and dad, how's the weather in North Carolina? Mom and dad. Soto is joined from Missouri in the house. Kid Yo-Yo in the house from Palos Verdes. Come on in. And kids, just start swimming. Just start swimming those arms. Just like that. Great way to get the day going. Come on in. Check in on Facebook or Instagram. Um, Maybe take some photos, parents. Take some videos and tag me. Tag me in your stories. Tag me wherever. I, I always get pumped up when I see uh, the kiddos in their living rooms doing these workouts. Fires me up. It inspires me. I'll go back. Start swimming back. Back swim. Dima in the house. MZ Jules in the house. We got the backstroke. Yes, Penguin and Pickle checking in. They had some homemade sourdough bread for uh, breakfast. Coach Squeaky Cheeks made it. Wow, Coach Squeaky Cheeks, mustache salute. Now go across. <clears throat> Pretty day in North Carolina. Uh, the Rowdies are here. Did I pronounce that right? The Rowdies, love that. Sausage and biscuits, race car master and all the toys are in Irvine. Go across. Now both arms forward, that's it, that's it, and start marching. And we're marching, shirts tucked in, kiddos, ready to go. Come on in with the march. Great way to start that week off with a little march. April the 6th, 9 a.m. on the dot, three claps, one, two, three. All right, arms high. Sniff those armpits. 
Oh yeah, definitely smells like Cocoa Crisp cereal. And touch your toes, good morning. Don't pick your nose. That's it. And spread out wide, sniff your left kneecap. Sniff it. If you're just joining us, it's raining cats and dogs in California. So I am indoors today. There might be a slight echo, but the sound shouldn't be terrible. Switch! Please tell me what your right kneecap smells like. The right kneecap. I love it. And side to side. Good morning to all you checking in. Ram Charger in the house. Fantastic. For all of you who have spread the word about this class and told your friends, thank you. I think it's great. Building a community virtually. Picking strawberries. Ready? Exercise. One, two, three, clock. One, two, three, clock. One, two, three, clock. One, two, three, clock. One, two, three, and clock. On your beat honkus, butterflies. I don't know why, but this is one of my favorite stretches. The bee honkus butterfly. That's it. I got all my friends here, all my books. Norman is here, George back there, my drum set, Ferguson Jenkins, Babe Ruth, Tommy Lasorda. They're all back there. Make a V, touch your left phalange. I'm going to read you uh, a little bit of one of my favorite books today. Sometimes when it's rainy, it's good to read a book. And we're going to have a little story time today after an epic workout. Switch! Touch that right phalange. Anybody want to guess? One of my heroes. He was my grandfather's favorite player. Both feet. Both feet, both phalanges, get out there. And very nice, modeling pose. Start to rev it up a little bit. Oh, back popped, oh my lanta. And hug that knee into the chest. Fantastic, tell your knee you love it. I love you knee. And switch. Look at somebody in the room, give them a smile, and say, I've got your back today. Now, what does that mean, I've got your back? Hug that knee into the chest. Well, it means I'm gonna, I'm gonna support you. I've got you. If you're a little sad, I'm gonna pat you on the back. If you need some help tying your shoe, I'm gonna help you tie your shoe. Downward facing dog. Cobra. Upward facing dog. Half moon. And switch. Half moon. And we're up to our feet. Now we've got that hustle salute. All right, we're going to go for an extension here on the Hustle Salute. Freeze! Faster! Freeze! Mr. Angel, welcome in with your cereal and yogurt. Freeze! Hello, Holton fam. I'm going to be reading a letter from the Holton family today, a uh, letter to baseball. Go! Faster! Freeze! Faster! Three claps, one, two, three. Arm circles, very nice. A little bigger, and real big, and backwards. Start small, get bigger, real big. Move that neck around. That's it, Flamingo. Today at three o'clock, instead of me having an afternoon class, I'm going to be on Easton Baseball's Instagram handle, and I'm going to be live with John Boy, and we're going to have a trivia session 
Uh, and it's a contest, so join in. Switch. So that won't be on my Instagram live. That'll be on Easton. So follow Easton Baseball, and we'll have an epic baseball trivia contest. I've been doing a lot of uh, Yankee trivia this morning, trying to figure out some good questions about the Yankees. So that'll be my thing. And kick those toes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Very good. Ten jumping jacks. On your marks. Get set. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. This is our two minutes of jog. Maybe it's up the stairs. Hello, Super Henry. Maybe it's in place. I'm going to be in this little room right here just doing my running in place. On your marks, get set, go! If you are running in place, try to get those knees up nice and high. If you're running up your stairs, make sure you be very careful. No matter where you're running, make sure you land on your toes. Land on your toes. My college coach, he said, hey, if you're going to track that fly ball in the outfield, then you got to run on your toes because then your head doesn't move. That's how you run super fast. Let's go. Let's go. Keep running. Get the heart rate going. There won't be much Padre trivia tonight because the boys at John Boy Media are from New York. So if you're going to tune into the Easton Baseball Trivia Contest today, that's 3 o'clock Pacific time, 6 Eastern. Uh, it'll be a lot of Yankee trivia. Lime Stewart's in the house. 30 seconds. If you want to do these, these are called behonkus kicks. Kick your behonkus. Yeah. All right, 15 seconds. Finish strong. 14, 13, 12, 11. 10 seconds remaining, guys. Fitbit and Kitty are in the house. They had bananas. And stop. Water break. Team meeting pose. Water break, team meeting pose. Somebody comment, let me know when you're in that team meeting pose and you've got your water bottle. So I can read our two letters to baseball today. Deep breath in through the nose after that two minute run. Slowly out the mouth. One more time, deep breath in through the nose, slowly out the mouth. All right. I love sports. I love baseball more than any sport. This is why. I love it. I love team. They never give up. I don't. You don't. That is what a ball player does. I am one. You are one, so do anything you can to come back to me and my team. I miss you. Now, his uh, real name is Silas, nicknamed Dodger. And there it is, right there. And I just saw on Instagram that Lime Stewartson and Dodger are in an epic team meeting pose. Now, my second letter to baseball, I don't have a name, so if you are listening, and you hear your letter, let me know. Dear baseball, I miss baseball. It is one of my favorite sports. I also play it. My friends like it too. I like to hit walk-off home runs. Go Red Sox. P.S. I miss Mookie Betts. I hope you miss him too. Obviously a big Red Sox fan. Had a boy Dodger was watching. Um, but somebody please let me know who that is. And now I'm going to read off my list. This is the list that I've got for our Easton Helmet 
competition. Uh, the people that have written letters to baseball and sent them to me. Truett. T-R-U-E-T-T. -T, Truett. Connor. Aiden. Carter. Foul Ball Master. Winfield in Charlotte. Sorry about that Instagram feed. We're back. Um, Winfield in Charlotte. Josephine and Mallory. Nolan Ryan Jr., Water Slide, Penguin, Pickle, Golden Spike, Mookie Betts, uh, that's who I just read, Silas Holton, Jay, Grayson, Landon, and Horsehide. Those are the ones I have. If you've sent me a letter and I didn't read your name, uh, please send me the letter again so I've got it. And if you want to be entered into the contest, we're going to do this thing tomorrow. I'm going to put all those names into a bucket, and the winner will get an Easton helmet. Now, you are all winners because you've, uh, you've entered in this contest, and you've written your letter to baseball. If you're not a baseball player, write a letter to a sport that you love, whatever sport that might be. But this, is, uh, this will be coming your way, whoever wins that. All right, awesome. Today... We've only got uh, a tiny amount of room if you're in California because it's raining. So just two cones. And folks, let's start running in place here at this one. All right? Now, you're going to run slow motion. Go with me. Slow motion to the other cone and run in place. And now you're going to go slow motion back and run in place. And we'll just call this the mirror drill. You're just going to mirror what I do. Copycat what I do here. Slow motion. Come on, copycats. Stay with me. And now jumping jacks. We're jumping. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Slow motion. Deep breath in through the nose. Slowly out the mouth. And running in place. And slow motion and jumping jacks. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. Slow motion and punches. Boom, 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 boom. Bang, 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 bang. Slow motion. Floss dance. Floss, 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 quick, 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 slow motion. Punch across, across, across. Use your stomach muscles. Boom, 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 boom. Ha, yeah, Ooh, very good. Slow motion. That's it. And polka dance. Slow motion. Push ups. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Slow motion. Slow, deep breathe. We're almost to a water break. Almost. And polka dance. Polka, polka. Bum, 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 bum. That's it. That's it. That's it. Slow motion. Slow motion. Right hand to the left toe. Left hand to the right toe. Alternate. Alternate. That's it. Don't forget to breathe. I'm breathing. Boom. Two more. Slow motion. Last one. Last one. Do your favorite dance move. Three claps. One, two, three. All right, we're going to finish that off with five burpees. Jump up 
and push up. Jump up and push up. Three more. Push up. Jump up. Push up. Jump up and push up. Very nice. 60 second water break. Stay hydrated. Absolutely. Deep breath in. Slowly out the mouth. Very good. And I just want to read these names off again during this water break. These are the names I've got that have written a letter to baseball. If I don't read your name and you want to be in this contest, then send your letter to baseball to me. Email, Instagram, Facebook, whatever. But first, another deep breath. Slowly out the mouth. And drink your water. I've gotten a letter from Chewit H, and then the last name is Kaka, C-A-K-A. -A. I've gotten a letter from Connor, Aiden, Carter, Foulball Master, Winfield, Josephine and Mallory, Nolan Ryan Jr., Water Slide, Penguin, Pickle, Golden Spike, Mookie Betts, Silas Holton, Jay, Grayson, Landon, and Horsehide. If I did not say your name, then I don't have your story. You might have sent it to me and I just lost it, so resend it. Outstanding. 10 more seconds of water. Now, before we get back to working out, a little trivia. Whoever answers it first gets some eye black and a shout out from me. Let me get my eye black. The trivia question is, ready? What number is Mike Trout? What number is Mr. Mike Trout? Who's gonna get the eye black today? Penguin and Pickle is correct. You answered it first. The number is 27, Mike Trout, boom. Boom, Jacob Noel, you are right there behind. Now this is a little foreshadowing for three o'clock Pacific time today. I'll be on the Easton Baseball Instagram Live doing uh, epic baseball trivia with John Boy. Now, starting tomorrow, I think you got my email uh, and I've been posting it. I'm starting an afternoon virtual sandlot. It'll be $10 a class, but we're gonna go deep. If you want a real live baseball practice, um, then tune in. It'll be weekdays starting tomorrow at 3. We're going to talk about advanced skills of baseball, uh, the mental side of the game, uh, what kind of things can you do to overcome failure, uh, how do you practice well. Um, there's so much uh, anxiety that can creep in during a game, so we're going to talk a lot about positive thoughts and and things you can think about to perform great in the game. A lot of us are great practicers, but to be a great player in the game, it takes a certain mentality. So uh, raise your hand if you'd like to join in. Tomorrow's the first class. That'll be on my YouTube channel only, but it'll be live. It'll be interactive. So we get to interact back and forth. You can ask me questions like, hey, Coach Ballgame, I remember being in the batter's box one time, and I was super nervous, and the crowd was really screaming loud and made me nervous. We're going to talk about it, okay? Or maybe coach ball game. Every time I face a real fast pitcher, I strike out. We're going to talk about why, okay? So um, if you do plan on attending, uh, bring a notebook because we're going to create this baseball notebook and become a scholar of the game. I'm super excited uh, about this. It's called the virtual sandlot. So we won't be having afternoon PE anymore, just morning PE, afternoon baseball. Okay, back to your cones, back to your cones. Ooh, and I almost forgot, you need your ball or a sock or a balled up piece of paper. All right, and you're just moving your feet like this and the ball goes up and back. Go ahead, it's kind of like you're juggling but with only one ball while you're running in place. Now land on your toes so your head doesn't move. There you go. 
20 more seconds. That's it. Let me know what you're using, guys. Tennis ball, local ball, sock, balled up piece of paper. And stop. Put your ball on that cone. Slow motion over to here. That's it. Body squats. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, and very good. Slow motion across, slow motion, that's it. And back to this drill. Boop, boop. Toss it back and forth. That's it, that's it. You're getting quick with your feet and your toes, hot potato toes, and you're tossing this sock or this ball back and forth. That's it. And stop. Slow motion with me. Mirror me, folks. And body squats. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Slow motion. Slow motion. Now we've been doing this a lot. Figure eight. Be honk is down. Dance on that toilet. Through the legs. What are you guys using? I'm using a balled up sock. Anybody using a baseball, tennis ball, wiffle ball, piece of paper? Ten more seconds. Keep the bee honkus low to the ground. Through the legs. Figure eight. Stop. Slow motion. Slow motion. And body squats once again. Last set. I don't know about you guys, this gets my heart rate going the most. The old body squat. Two more. And slow motion. A ring around the rosy. Hula hoop. Go fast. That's it. Keep going. That's right, the mental side of baseball is important. Fitbit rocking and rolling. I love it. Way to go, Vish is in the house. Somebody is using a pom-pom. That's awesome, Orlando. Come on now. Come on. And stop. Slow motion. Air drums. Slow motion. All right, time for high five the sky. Toss it up. Meet, squeeze, and freeze. Go. Meet, squeeze, and freeze. Meet, squeeze, and freeze. Up above your head. I'm tossing it with my throwing hand. Catching it with my catching hand. Meet, squeeze, and freeze. High five the sky. Boom. 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 And stop. Slow motion. Oh my land, that 10 jumping jacks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Slow motion. Slow motion. Slow motion. Dance on a toilet song. Sumo. Sumo. Dance. Dance. Everybody dance on the toilet. Hold those pizzas. Good job. Water break. Rocco's using a baseball. Way to go. Knott's Berry Farm. He's using a baseball. Very good. Water break. At my baseball camps, whenever we're taking a water break, I go trivia questions, and if you get the answer right, you get a baseball card. I'm giving you a shout out in some eye black. Who can tell me what is the nickname for a left handed pitcher? I'll take two answers, two different answers. A left handed pitcher. What is the nickname for that? Southpaw is correct from Mr. Verbs. Mr. Verbs. 
you got that noun correct. You get to my black. I got a southpaw here from Jacob Knoll. Very good. I would have also taken lefty firestones. They're in the house. I black salute the southpaw. Next trivia question. Why, and this is a throwback to last week, why are the Dodgers called the Dodgers? A lot of you are probably Los Angeles Dodger fans. Why are the Dodgers called the Dodgers? Love it. This may be a question I asked today at my Easton baseball trivia contest. Because they used to dodge trains. Orlando, you get the eye black, add a girl. Let's give Orlando and add a girl on three. One, two, three. Add a girl! The LA Dodgers used to play in Brooklyn, New York, and there's these trolley cars that would go through the streets, and the pedestrians would have to dodge the trolley cars. Very nice. All right, last trivia question. Hmm, let me think of a good one. Got it. What is something a ball player does to help their parents out? Every single class, we do two minutes of what a ball player does. Who can tell me? Something a ball player does. Helping out their parents. I'm waiting. Who's got the answer? Ooh, the Firestones. Tied with, uh, is that Ry Ry? Rylan Wright with the wash the dishes? Very good, washing the dishes, folding the laundry, making the bed, uh, putting away the laundry Fitbit. And I love it, I love it. And the Holton's doing the dishes, very good. Now, one of my favorite games, it's the trash can game. So, if you were here last week, you saw us introduce this game, but we've got our trash can. I'll put it here, mm, once you'll be able to see it, yeah, I'll put it right there. And then, set up three different cones. I've got one, I've got two, and I've got, I need a third cone. So set up your trash can game, folks. And if this is your first time, you start at the first cone, all right? But I want your, uh, I want your input here. Last week, we did three body squats before each shot. Whoever can answer first, we're going to do what you want to do. Um, what is something we can do? Oh, yeah, right, man. Um, before we take each shot. We've got our trash can, and we've got three different cones here. We shoot from the first cone. If we make it, then we go to the second cone when we make that. Then we go to the third cone, and we see how fast we can finish the game. What is an activity we can do? I'm waiting for a good one. Nothing's come in yet. I've seen a lot of what a ball player does. What do we think? Three push-ups, three jumping jacks. What is a what is a little? Oh, done. Penguin and pickle came in first with a floss dance. So everybody to their first cone. All right, you've got your trash can. It's kind of like basketball. But before you shoot, you've got to do one floss, two floss, three floss, and then shoot. Go! I made it, so I'm going back to the next one. One floss, two floss, three floss, then I shoot. To my third cone. One floss, two floss, three floss. All right. I went one, two, three. I love it. Welcome in, folks. We're doing our trash can basketball game. <laughs> Funny. Firestones. Burpees. Uh, but the floss dance won. So let me know how we're doing, kiddos. And let me know when you're done. Let's see who finishes first here. Come on now. Ooh, Orlando is done. She finishes first. Who's going to finish second? Add a girl, Orlando. Get you a water break. Who's going to finish second? 
Orlando comes in first. Very nice. Ryman finishes second. Lando finishes third. Way to go. Keep it going. Penguin and Pickle finish fourth and fifth. Way to go. Keep at it. Don't give up. I love it. I love it. I love it. And Jacob Knoll finishes sixth. Mr. Angel coming in top ten. Very strong. For my folks that are done, uh, go ahead and play it again. Play it a second time. I'm just going to do some call outs. Lime Stewartson and Dodger are done. The Firestones are done. Love it. Super Henry done. Add a boy, Super Henry. Very good. Play this a second time around. After you finish the first game, do it again and time yourself. See if you can beat the number you just got. Way to go, Holton fam. Outstanding. I'm going to play again, too. <laughs> floss dance. If you don't want to do the floss dance, then you can do a different dance. Right? Maybe you want to do the, the disco dance. A little disco before you shoot. That's it. And then run back. Or maybe one of my favorites, the polka dance. Right? Nice. Kids, we want to make sure we bend our knees when we shoot this basket, right? Michael Jordan, and a boy Soto, way to go. If you bend your knees and get your bee honkers down, it'll be a lot better. You'll have a much better shot. Love it. Ah, we had a question. Is there a way to make it harder? Absolutely. You can move the cones way back. Right? Or maybe you have an obstacle in the way. Maybe your couch is in the way, in between you and the trash can, and you got to do that. Or maybe your little brother makes it a moving target, and your little brother or your little sister is moving it like this, and you have to hit the moving target. Mr. Angel's doing body squats before each toss. Wow, Orlando finished in 10 seconds with that second game. I love it. Catching Kitty and Fitbit are done. Way to go. All right. Push pause. Everybody push pause. Come on back to the TV screen. You can stack up these cones. If you want to play that game later, by all means, do it. It's awesome. It's really awesome. But I want to get into the mental side of, of uh, things a little bit. And if you're just joining us, tomorrow begins the virtual sandlot. And... Um, this is kind of like um, this is kind of like baseball 101, but then we're going to extend it into uh, advanced skills, high school. But it goes further than baseball. Even it's it's the psych. Uh, Ninety percent of baseball is half mental. He was pretty funny with his uh, with his verbiage, but it's more than true. Baseball is is so mental, and I'll give you an example. You're in practice, and so just go ahead and have a team meeting pose, and I'll give you a little taster test of what we'll be diving into interactively in our Sandlot classes starting tomorrow afternoon. Uh, we're not going to have any more PE classes in the afternoon, mornings only. If you can't make the morning class, then you can watch the replay on my YouTube. But in the afternoon, it's all about baseball, so you guys are going to bring a notebook, and you're gonna, we're going to discuss, like, what are some things you love about baseball? What are some things that are tough about the game? But one, one of the things that was tough for me is in practice, I could get in the batting cage and just rip. I see the balls, bang, crushing the baseball every time. Same with other sports too. Basketball, I'm in my backyard, and I make every shot. But then I get into the game, and the referees and the umpires are there, the parents are loud in the bleachers, the coaches are yelling from the dugout, and I put a lot of pressure on myself, and it made me nervous, and I didn't perform well. Right? So something that, that really helped me is getting into the batter's box after going like 0 for 25 and saying, you know what? Putting pressure on myself isn't working. So what if I treat this game like it's batting practice? What if it's okay to mess up? And I started to come in with that mentality of, well, I might mess up. I've been messing up, but I'm going to be okay with it. And I'm going to still try to help my team win. Boom. And I started to hit baseballs a lot better, 
Okay, so I think one of the main things we'll start off with, a jumping off point is process versus outcome. And um, that's a big part of why uh, Mike Trout is such a good player in the game is he practices so well and he's got great – sorry about that Instagram feed. He practices so well and he has positive thoughts when he gets into the batter's box that if he messes up, okay, that's going to happen. That's part of baseball. Um, but he's not thinking about the negative thing. So uh, come with any questions you have, maybe struggles you've had. But um, I can't wait for that. That's going to be the afternoon sandlot. Really cool. Okay, guys, um, it's time to get your PE notebooks so we can do our seven skills. All right, we're going to see how we do here on a rainy day with our seven skills. And if you have a glove, if you have a baseball glove, use it today. Use it today. These are our constants at PE class. We spend about seven, eight minutes every day doing these seven drills. Number one, high five the sky for 60 seconds. Okay? Awesome, awesome, awesome. Keep it up. Thank you. Thanks for joining. Um, as the kids are getting their notebooks, as they're getting their gloves and their tennis balls, uh, parents, um, thank you. Keep spreading the word. Let's, let's just meet up every morning. Um, and do this PE class. Thank you for sending out emails to all your friends. Uh, but I, I think of this class as more than just physical activity. This is getting the kids' brains uh, zoned towards being awesome and being more respectful and selfless. High five the sky, Ryman. You are correct. On your marks, get set. Go! 60 seconds of meat, squeeze, and freeze. Meat, squeeze, and freeze. And the thing I just talked to you about, 10 seconds in, process versus outcome. Is it okay to miss? Yes. Is it okay to be afraid of missing? No. That's not going to work. If you're afraid that you're going to miss this ball, guess what? You're going to miss. Very good. And that goes for every walk of life. High five this guy. Remember to keep your elbow in, fingers to the sky. If we get the chicken wing going up here, then my fingers point to the side. Not good. Ten seconds remaining. Thank you there, Shorty. Atta boy. Love you too, Holton fam. And stop. Go write it down. What's the date? April what? Write it down in your PE notebooks. These are our seven drills. What's number two? The wall drill. Wall drill. Meat, squeeze, and freeze. A couple soups don't count. On your marks, get set, go. If you want to challenge yourself and throw it overhand, Try to catch it by all means, but you got to keep your fingers to the sky. Also, when you're throwing the ball, pass through Teacherville. Pass through this place. Don't let it get close to your ear. 20 seconds down, 40 to go. Step towards it when you catch it. I know a lot of young kids, they close their eyes right before they try to catch the ball. Challenge yourself. Keep your eyes open. Eyes open all the way to the ball touching your hand or touching leather. And last thing with the catching, don't swat at it like it's a fly. Meet, squeeze, and freeze. Five seconds. Finish strong. Welcome in, J-Rod. And stop. Write that number down. That is your wall drill, column number two. I don't know, there's something about doing the wall drill. I toss the ball up against the wall and I catch it, I immediately feel happier. So uh, I do that all the time. What's number three? It's the alligators. It's the alligators. Right? Toss it up against the wall, get the bee honkus down, and feel the ground ball. Move your feet like the mongoose. On your marks, get set, go! 
Ryman, once again, he's got the he's got it down. Ryman is letting me know what's next. This is drill number three. Ten seconds in. Alligators. If you want to be like those great infielders, Justin Turner, Javier Baez, Francisco Lindor, then you got to work. You got to work hard. Now, some of you may be getting tired and want to bend over at your waist, but remember, you're a kangaroo. You got a baby in your in your pouch, and you can't let the baby fall out of the pouch. So you got to keep your good posture up top and sit on the toilet down low. Ten seconds remaining. Alligator. Alligator. Glove dirty. Three, two, one. And stop. Very good. Write that number down. Awesome. For those of you still with me, still joining in, working on your skills, I applaud you. What a great way to start the day. A lot of you are going to have to do some schoolwork uh, later on today. This gets you going with the activity, the sweat. Uh, you're going to be smarter because of these drills you're doing. Number four, it's the soccer juggling. Oh, no. I'm indoors, so I'm going to have to use a balled-up sock. My balled-up sock. On your marks, get set, go. I don't know about you guys, it's hard for me to do more than two at a time. There's four. three. Halfway there. Any shout outs to give? Great job, Pickle. Welcome in Dalton Huggies. Welcome in Daniel Rivera. Soto with 33 alligators. Ryman with the soccer juggles. Way to go. One, two, three. Oh! Got three. One, two. Ten seconds. Love this. And stop. Very good. Write it down. Now, we've already done our figure eights and our around the horsies today. So go ahead and just um, write the number down that you got last time. And let's move right on to the seventh one, which is what? What's that final drill we do every single day? Somebody beat Ryman to it. So the figure eight is fifth. We're going to skip that one because we already did it. And the sixth one is hula hoop. So what's the last one? Yeah, ping pong. You need your uh, spoon and your balled up piece of paper, or your ping pong paddle and your ping pong ball. Uh, for any baseball players out there, I love taking a bat and a ball and just trying to tap it up with a bat and a ball. Really difficult to do, but it's, it's super Super, super helpful with your hand-eye coordination. On your marks, get set, go. seconds down, 30 to go. How we doing? And pause. Switch hands. Go to the other hand. Ooh, go to the left hand. Other hand. That's it. That's it. There you go, and stop. Awesome job, write it down, nicely done. Now, get you some water, crisscross applesauce, a little rainy day story time to close out our class.
All right. Make sure we can all get in nice and close. And this is my hero. I've been reading about him a lot uh, as well. And you've heard me tell his story. I, uh, I, I've written a song about him. Way to go, Holton fam. 105 on the ping pong grill. I just want to read the uh, uh, first couple pages of this first chapter. Baseball is a very popular sport throughout the Caribbean region. That's Puerto Rico, Dominican Republic. Um, hey, Deering's are late to the party. Well, you can watch the replay on YouTube, uh, but join in for a little rainy day story time there, Deering's. Uh, we're talking about Roberto Clemente. Um, so in that region, they're all very poor, so they use whatever they can find, such as sticks for bats and chalk outlined bases to play the sport. So a lot of times they'll play on roads and they'll draw uh, base lines um, with chalk and they'll do that on the street and they'll play with a stick. Uh, Roberto Clemente's parents never had to worry uh, where their son was when he was uh, not home. They knew that if school was in session, he was busy learning. Good job. Scholar salute, Roberto Clemente. Scholar salute. If school was uh, not in session, he could be in only one place, playing baseball with his friends in a dirt field near their home in Puerto Rico. In fact, by the age of five, Roberto was already in love with baseball. Roberto and his friends, who all grew up poor, used whatever they could find to make baseball equipment. Balls were made from cans. Wow, cans, milk cartons, balled up rags, socks wrapped around golf balls, uh, and old tennis balls. Brooms or tree branches became bats, and old coffee bags were bases. Old coffee bags. The boys would take turns hitting, pitching, and fielding. The rules were simple. A player was allowed to stay up at bat until he struck out. After the strikeout, the pitcher would step up to bat. So I encourage you kids to do that uh, where the hitter gets to stay in and the pitcher's throwing maybe a sock uh, or an old tennis ball and the hitter keeps hitting until they strike out. And then the pitcher becomes the hitter and a new pitcher comes in from the outfield. Uh, Guess who always stayed up the longest at bat? Roberto Clemente. And it seemed as if he could hit the ball anywhere it was pitched. Life in Puerto Rico was not very fun. Roberto's father, Melchor Clemente, was a sugarcane uh, worker. So he worked in the sugarcane fields all day long, a very tough job, a lot of hot days. But all of the money he made there, he would use to um, pay for a bowl of rice for the whole family to eat. So they got by as best they could. Um, Roberto was born in August of 1934 during the Great Depression. And we're going through a similar time now where it's just not a lot of uh, money because uh, of the virus. So I, I treat this book as some inspiration right now. Um, it, it, it's, it's tough times. Uh, and this guy was born in the Great Depression. But instead of just giving up, he said, you know what? I can go work with my dad in the sugarcane fields every day, and then I can play baseball with a lemon or a stick, uh, and I can draw some some uh, bases uh, in the road and use that as, as my baselines. Uh, the coolest thing about my hero, Roberto, is he worked hard with a smile on his face. So that's my, uh, that's my hope for you guys uh, today and the rest of the week, is to work hard in your school, uh, and, and do it with a big smile on your face because you, you have a choice. You can do the work with a frown or you can do it with a smile. If we got to be here, we might as well do it um, real happy. And Toothless is in the house from North Carolina. He remembers the Clemente story. Very good. So there you go. That's class. Uh, that was our 30th class, by the way. So let's go a round of applause. That's our 30th class. And uh, tune in today at 3 o'clock Pacific, 6 Eastern, on the Easton baseball handle for an epic trivia contest. Um, that's all. Tomorrow's the contest. So uh, if you didn't get your letter to baseball in, send it to me. Um, good stuff. All right. Any questions? Any questions? Class is dismissed.
I don't know if teachers still say that, but my teacher used to. All right. Thank you. Bye-bye.